Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is YouTube style. But, um, welcome back, by the way. So, um, I, James really likes my sermon, so I'm going to preach about 40 minutes. Amen? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, today I s- uh, prepared a little bit special topic uh, for your um, event. It is called Hallelujah Day. The topic is this one the value. Please give me a, about. Uh, about uh, 30 minutes, uh, pay attention please. Value, it is called, in Korean is a gachi, which is the most important thing in your life. Um, these days, I've been actually uh, visiting or you know, maybe shopping uh, online about a book. So uh, one of, actually one of my hobbies is reading a book. And when I was a college student, my father uh, allowed me to spend about $100 in Korean won, maybe 10,000 or 12,000 won every month as an allowance. But I need to buy a book. That is the uh, requirement. So that time, there's no any internet um, system. I go to a bookstore. Um, a lot of bookstores like you know, Barnes & Noble in America, and even here is like Kyobomungo. I go there and I don't know, I I was not actually excited to buy a book, but I had an obligation to purchase a book because I had money. So uh, I I just, you know, purchased the books I really wanted or I like it, but I just, you know, put it on the uh, bookshelf, but I stopped, I don't read it. But one day I realized there's so many books piled up on on my bookshelf and I started to just grab it and start to read it. I strongly encourage you guys um, buying a book or having a book in your room or maybe a habit, make a habit as a maybe a habit, uh, visit some bookstores or even internet shopping too. These days, what I purchase uh, three books I'd like to introduce. First one is this one. You know Hanga, right? It's a Nobel Prize. Can you imagine? I never imagined in my life I'm going to read in any Korean literatures um, in Korean as a, as a Nobel Prize, in the, you know, the what's got works. So I purchased this one, Hebokanon Ingan, Convalescence. This one is a little bit short book, and it's a, interesting is, it's like English on the right side and Korean is the left side. It's a really short book. So you could buy, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. James, he already read it. Remember, first grader, okay? And challenge you guys, high school and the middle school students. All right, so um, another book is Vegetarian, one of the really famous books. I don't know if I could re- recommend this book or not. It's a little bit kind of ethical, moral kind of issue, conflict. A lot of people, they are arguing. Another book is, it's a quite business book, <laughs> 부동산 Trend. So I, I love actually uh, 2025 Real Estate Trends. So this one is a pretty thick book. I'm actually reading right now which area in Seoul is uh, maybe possible <laughs> to you know, maybe raise it or I could maybe consider in the future, not right now. But I like to know the trend. You know, what people, I mean the Korean people prefer the location in Korea these days, even next you know, few years. Maybe um, why people prefer living in Seoul or um, Gyeonggi area, or you know, satellite city. So um, that's the probably we need to study and research about uh, you know Korean uh, situ- life situation of society. Last one is this one. I like to encourage you guys. Probably high school school students, you could purchase this book and you could start to watch. I mean, read it. Um, this one is the. Uh, it is called um, Eric uh, from. Uh, I'm going to ex- explain about who he is later. And title is To Have or To Be. In Korean, Soyunya, Jonjenya. It's a pretty difficult topic. To Have or To Be. Well, actually, I read this one a long time ago when I was a seminary student. And um, one of actually um, pastors uh, strongly recommend book, uh, read again. So uh, recently, I purchased it's a paper book. And I read a few days ago, and still a lot of really profound message, philosophical, uh, you know, insight we could consider about today, our my life, and in this world. And this, let me introduce who he is. 
uh, Eric Fromm, psychologist, he passed away in 1980, and a psychoanalyst and a socialist philosopher, and he fled the Nazi regime in Germany in the settle in America. During the World War II, many scholars, they had to relocate to from Europe to America because of one reason, safety. So many uh, scholars, even famous celebrities and politicians, um, they actually <coughs> want to go to America for uh, having the uh, second life, I mean, the, which is the, um, another life. And this book, uh, Eric, Eric uh, he talks about, as I mentioned about, two types of life. Just imagine about this picture. I know a little bit difficult for elementary school students, but the thing is this one. There are two types of modes of existence. 두 가지 살아가는 사람의 모습이 있는 거예요. First type, it is called having. And another type is being. Mode of having, it is called consumerism, which means uh, you want to buy a buyer, consumer, 소비자. In terms of capitalism, we, today we live Money definitely needs. Wherever you guys go, money. It's like, show me the money. So you need the money and spend, and you could do whatever you want. So we consider ourselves as, called, it is called what? Big consumers. Big bargain, the person. And we consider everything, it is called objects, which means 삶을 물체. So things that we would like to buy, and as many as we could buy, and please myself and what is called enjoyment. What is called? I have a better status. Maybe I have more money. I could buy maybe a better house and maybe a better car. And as many as like cars I do have, a lot of difference of cars. So we could be, it is called, happy. One reason, a lot of things so I do have. So it is called another word, external oriented, orientation of control, which means with these objects, we could feel better than others, and superior you know, than others, and what? And then control others. Power, properties. I have a bigger house, I could have more people in my home, and money, I could do whatever I want, more than other people. And last one is what? Knowledge even. Reading a lot of books, and I could you know, do more things for myself to control others or influence others. Well, the apartments, I have lived in an apartment probably since uh, maybe uh, your age. I grew up there. And uh, sometimes I you know, uh, moved to the uh, house. What was the uh, biggest disadvantage of apartment is this one, in terms of my opinion, a two Seriously, like to like let's say um, capitalism, which means like you could figure out he or hers like his or the financial situation. What Pyeong, Pyeong is size. What name of a brand name apart? What is the location of your apartment? Is that kind of like you know the features like we could see that oh his financial status is a blah blah blah. Even though I do not know the person. But we just figure out who he is, who she is, because of one reason, the place where they live. It is called like the mode of having. People figure out who they are by what they have. A second mode of type of the person is a mode of a being. Well, let me read this one a little bit kind of um, difficult word, but tendency to advance toward love empowerment, which means giving your power to others, and self-realization. Perceive yourself as a person who has psychological independence. Pretty much you are happy with your, what you have, even being yourself. Inner orientation, which is not external, is inner person. Focus on inner person towards your personality. You put the more value on yourself, what, in interpersonal. The last one is perceive yourself as a career of skills and qualities of attributes, which means what? Personality, characteristic, kind of features, traits. Well, another good example is this one. 
Well, when I was a college student, you know, single people, they love dating. I know it's a high school, ninth graders. When we have a boy, another new boy, all that they kept asking me. Well, they may have, they want to have more boys with uh, maybe a handsome, maybe Enoch, right? So um, they, they, they probably want to have a blind dating. I'm not your own dating. We didn't meeting, we didn't understand. Meeting. Do you have a meeting? When? Oh, you know, I have a the person who really, really charming, really attractive. You want to meet her or her, him? Then we all the time ask this question. What is his height? I mean, the, his tall. What is his education background? Does he have a car? Or we could ask the woman, is she beautiful or hot? Or what, what, what is her in the background? It's something. I don't think we never, I never ask about this one. What is her faith? Does she believe in Jesus? Or she's really, um, let's say, have a good heart to give? or serve others, or uh, she has a good upbringing from the family, or she does care about others, never ever ask about this question. We just about think about, I want to have her as what? Just object, which is the multi person. And what? Having the person, what I want is make me happy. As many as the person, what I have, it's about make me please myself. We consider that definition as what? Love. Love. But what the book mentioned about love is quite abstract. It's not touchable. It's what? It's we could feel the love by what? Action. The act, the act of love. So when you act, when you love someone, is even though you cannot see it, but you can feel it. It is called what? Is being the mode of being, you can feel that she, he has love toward me. So we got married after marriage, I mean, after we love someone, and then this is the love. And then I remember, you know, when I look at my wife, I mean, the met my wife, wow, she's so beautiful. And I fell in love. And then within six months, I got married. It is, okay? So if you fall in love with someone, then please think about it. marriage within a, one year, okay? So make some plans. And I thought she will never ever be aging. I thought she's not gonna have any you know, wrinkles or some lines on her forehead. Or I thought she never ever had the gray hairs. But as long as I live with her, I figure out, I found out she's getting older. And I feel like, oh, jump, 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 jump. It's kind of the, her body's being shaped a little bit differently. Since uh, he, she gave a birth, a lot of body change. Then I ask this question to myself. Is she the only one a change quite differently? No. I'm also changed every year. My body change, my characteristic change, because this is life. But I do love her. Because she is my wife. She's the person. My wife, she's not here, okay? So, <laughs> she, what she has, love, care, grace, kindness, patience. I'm really, uh, really uh, emotional sometimes. She doesn't like me, but she waits and patient you know, for me. I believe this is the true definition of marriage. Once again, she doesn't have me as a one of a, the person she really, really want, but it is not. She want to love me because of many reasons, maybe characters, or maybe my handsome face, maybe, or something else. But once again, we don't consider each person with a wife and husband as what? Just object. Many uh, students mentioned about this word, um, in the classroom. Professor, I'm a, or Dr. Lee, I don't have money to go to college. I don't have a lot of money to go to maybe famous schools. I need some money to apply to certain, certain colleges because I'm poor, because I'm not able, because my father, mom, their financial is not able. 
And what they express, demonstrate that this one is depression, sadness, or negative impact. The word is called like, the, the emotion. But the thing is this one. My question is this one. Money, once again, you could have money, but it doesn't make you all the time peaceful. We have to figure out this all the time. We all the time think that our money makes me happy and makes me peaceful, which is not true, which is not true. Richness, it doesn't mean all the time being in peace. Richness probably will give us maybe comfort, comfort, do what you want. Many celebrities and rich people, some, somehow they, they are in depression or they are not happy with their own lives. Unfortunately, some of them made a committed suicide. Why? Because of money? No, one reason, no peace in their lives. So being happy, maybe unhappy, what you have, what, you're not, what you don't have, that is, that's not the answer. Even the Bible mentioned about the book of Exodus, chapter 16 to 15 to 16 and 19, is a really famous story about manna. God, He gave manna a daily food for the Israelites. They complain about the food in the where? Desert. 40 years, nothing, no houses, no water, even no, every, they don't have a zero possessions. So start to complain. Why we don't have a house? Why we don't have a food? Why don't we have meat? And then God listened. God answered. First one is what? Manna. It is called bread. Let me read this one. So Moses told them, This is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. The Lord has commanded. Each one of you must gather what he needs, about two quarts of for every person in your family. So can you command it? I will give you this one, make sure, grab it, or pick it, pick up the manas, what you need every day. Moses said to them, do not keep any of it to eat the next day. Keep in mind this one. God, He wants you and I focus on what? Daily food. And but some of the people did not listen to Moses and kept part of it to eat the next morning. They want to save, keep it for next day, which is what? Wisdom. After all, it is correct. But the eek became full of worms and began to sting, rotten, go bad. So Moses was angry with those people. One reason, because they do not listen to what God commanded. Focus on, on daily life, because one reason, value. Seek first kingdom of God. Trust God. You need to confess God who pro provides daily food, provide what they need. The value of faith, God wanna, want Israelites to have during the 40 years the desert their life. Let me ask this question. How do you define yourself as a, it is called the most of existence, which is what kind of, what drives you, drives you, what makes you happy, or you want to be the, the person you want to, what type of your person you want to be? Having versus a being. 19, September 20, 2004, if you like the baseball, I watched this game actually, Otani, um, you know, the uh, Shohei Otani, this day, he made an incredible, remarkable history he made as a foreigner, even the, one of the best famous NBA, uh, MLB uh, players. This one, 50 home runs and 50 steals. This one of a seriously, like, unbroke, was it like, incredible histories, records, nation. And the day he made the 50 home runs, and we people expecting the person who pick up the, the what ball, home run ball, he or she may become the like a millionaire. Guess what? This person he pick up the ball, 
And the ball went to auction. Do you know how much was it? It's about 4.3 million dollars. Can you believe? 60억. One ball, probably you could spend your own money, maybe 2만 원, 3만 원, 20 dollars, maybe, or 40 dollars. But it has become 4.3 million dollars. Why people, they want to buy this ball with their own money up to 4.3 million? One reason, the value. The ball, the baseball is differently, is quite significantly is different compared to other ordinary regular ball because what there must be meaning 50 50 Shohei Otani and Otani he got a contract Dodgers Dodgers uh, the you know LA Dodgers I love LA Dodgers by the way they're gonna have uh, the, the World Series the versus Yankees go Dodgers by the way okay so um, um, I love it how it goes too but one day we're gonna go to playoff one day uh, I don't know when. Um, he made a contract, 10 years. Do you know how much is it? Here it is what? 921 won. 700 million dollars. I wish I could have won million dollars at least. <laughs> almost. Do you know? I don't think you could count this money. Seriously. But like, a lot of people, they admire or respect or envy this guy because he makes a lot of money as a bass player, player and ask this question what is it money fame popularity or baseball itself what kind of value do you have and ask this question what does baseball mean for you Shoei Otani this is in Korean he because he speaks in Japanese is translate let me uh, tra read what he said to you all the playing baseball is my job it's not just that for me. Baseball is more than just a profession. Whether I am pitching or swinging a bat, it's all something I love doing. My love for the sports of baseball has been the driving force that's brought me this far. Baseball has become the purpose of my life and the way I live. It defines who I am today. What a fascinating, profound meaning, life he's living right now. Let me um, give you this question as an application. Modes of existence, Juniper Christian School. Are we, our school, are we looking for having more people? Or are we keep asking who we are in the name of Christ? as a, one of the Christian international schools in South Korea and the world. You may not know that, but we have some quota system, which means the, um, we don't accept many students. Each classroom has a certain number capacity. One reason, we don't consider you guys as a money. We don't count each hat as a mon not money. We consider each person, even teacher, as what? God's person, God's ship. We would like to support you, and we would like to give you the mentorship, and we want to make you as what God's leaders. And we do have a mission statement. The mission of the JCS is to promote a Christ-centered education, ec educational excellence, and global perspective through dynamic learning activities. We want you guys keep this mission statement as who we are and then also our Christian school and Christian scholars, teachers, and students. Today, we're going to have uh, report cards and then also progress reports. Believe it or not, I read each teacher's single word for your progress reports. I checked all high school students and eighth graders, you're great. What I want to encourage you guys, even I already spoke to some high school class students, you guys are really focused on, it is called consequence. 결과, 결과만 보는. It's probably you want to check the grades. What kind of grade do I have? What kind of words do I have? But I want to encourage you guys, 
check the grade, check the words, what your teachers provide, and then ask yourself, what, ha what did I do? What I have done for this grade? Which means uh, you need to focus on, it is called processing. The progress, it is a progress. You are in progress to become a mature person and a better student. Which means that you do have the rest of the semester, the final exam, final as a term. Next month and a half, you will be changed or not the same people because one reason, what drives you and motivates you is only focus on consequence or progress. And as a children of God, and we, do we only focus on having something, something, requesting God to have gain more and more, or ask myself who I am as a child of God or a Christian? God wants us to have what it is called faith. He wants us to have faith that we could know who God is. We could also follow who God is. Let me ask this question and then finish up this one. Do you believe in the Word of God? Do you believe in the God who created the heavens and the earth? Do you believe in the God who created man and woman? It is a really crucial question these days. Do you believe the God? Do you believe in the God who created man and woman? Thank you. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the resurrected Jesus Christ? Last question. Do you believe in the return of Jesus Christ? God, our Father, He considered us as what? The value of a children of God. He put His most important value on us. And He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to us and save us and give us eternal life. One reason, the value, love of God. Those who believe in God, those who believe in Jesus Christ, then we do have, it is called, the eternal life. One reason, because of what? God's love, the value. The value of life and value of love. Today, Actually, the uh, Hallelujah Day is October 31st, but it is called Reformation Day. March, uh, the, uh, October 31st, 1517, a long time ago, Martin Luther, he started to proclaim, a mighty fortress is our God. But somehow the world, the culture, is manipulate Halloween Day to worship an evil, evil spirit. And some people just hang out and then the, the, was put the custom with the, some evil spirits and make myself as a unique, maybe be pleasurable or happy others or myself, something. Show up. We are living in this situation and culture in the era. I want to ask this question. Today, we're going to have a Hallelujah Day. Then my question is this one. We having this one, but not really. We put more value on this program to know each other, to encourage each other, to pray for each other, to respect each other. Because what? One value. We love each other in the name of Christ. This is, I believe, this is one of the purposes what God has given us as what? Christian community, Christian school. Keep in mind the value, what you're going to have, the meaning of this program today. Amen? Let's pray our heads.